Okay, so in the previous videos, I talked about a model with a dummy variable as an explanatory variable on the right hand side of our model. And in all of the three cases that I described earlier, our dependent variable, that is our variable on the left hand side, was represented on levels. The interpretation of the dummy variable was that it shows the change in the y variable in whatever unit it was represented as a one unit change in that dummy variable as compared with the omitted variable or the base category of that dummy variable. And in this video, I'm going to extend the concept and introduce you to a dependent variable which is measured in the log form. That is, we'll introduce a dummy variable on the right hand side, but our dependent variable will be represented on logarithmic terms. And it's not surprising that uh, the coefficient on uh, this dummy variable on the right hand side will have a percentage interpretation as uh, we saw earlier. So let's look at an example. So in this example, we are interested in exploring the effect of a colonial style house on price of the house and the price is represented on logarithmic terms. So let's uh, regress this model and then interpret the results. And our colonial variable, it is a binary variable which shows whether the house is colonial or not. This coefficient value for the dummy variable colonial style shows that the colonial style house is predicted to sell for about 5.4% more than other style house, keeping lot size, square footage and the bedroom fixed. That is, if we find two identical houses with identical lot sizes, square footage, bedrooms, etc., but one is colonial style, the colonial style house will be sold 5.4% more than the other house. So note here the interpretation of this coefficient value it is in percentage. Why? Because our dependent variable is represented in the logarithmic form. So we know that whenever our dependent variable is represented in logarithmic form, the interpretation is in percentage. In the next example, we want to look at the same example that I showed you earlier, but now we want to know what will be the impact of gender on the log wages and we want to measure what is the gender wage gap in this case. Okay, so according to these results, if we find two individuals, they have same education, experience, tenure, etc. But one is male and the other is female. The female is expected to earn 29.7% less than the man. So we again find evidence that there is discrimination in wage based on gender. Remember, we said that whenever we have a log dependent variable, it is approximately equal to the percentage change in the dependent variable. But this change sometimes it is not accurate. To get the accurate change, what we can do is we can take the exponent of this effect and then subtract one from this to get the correct effect. So let's do that. So here I am getting the coefficients from this regression and then I am extracting coefficient value for female which is uh, minus 0 0.29. So I am extracting this and then I am taking the exponent of 0 0.29 and subtracting 1 from this to get the correct impact. So here we saw that the correct impact is 25.6% uh, as opposed to 29.7%. So Whenever you have a logarithmic variable, you can use this formula to get an accurate estimate of uh, the impact. Okay, sometimes we may have more than one dummy variables on the right hand side. And uh, the interpretation will not change at all. And here in this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two dummy variables. One, I'm creating a dummy variable for being male. Because in the data, we have only dummy variable for being a female. I'm creating another one. So whenever somebody is not female, so this exclamation mark means that I'm extracting female data and this is negation of this. So whenever it's not a female, then I'm converting it into an integer so that whenever it's not a female, then it is male. So it is implied here. So let's look at this. So for example, this first person is female. So let's look at the variable that we created and this third person is male and we can look at here that this third person was not a female. So this is exactly what I'm doing uh, 
uh, using these commands. Similarly, I extracted uh, being a single and the single people are, those are not married. So not married, not married means it's single. Then I'm creating some interaction terms. My first interaction is married male. The next is married female and the third is single female. I'm omitting one category here and that is single male, right? So here we are interested in knowing wage difference among four groups. Married man, married woman, single man and single woman. And we're going to make single men our base category. So I'm going to make these groups, save this and then I'm going to attach this data set and run this regression. Pay attention to the interpretations of uh, these dummy variables. We have three dummy variables in the model. And we must remember that single male, it is our omitted category. Thus, anything we interpret here, these three coefficient values, those will be interpreted in terms of the omitted category, single men. For example, married men, our first coefficient, they are estimated to earn about 21.3% more than single men that is our omitted category holding all these factors constant so if we hold uh, education experience at tenure etc constant then married men will make 21.3 uh, percent more than uh, single men similarly married female will make 19 percent less than single men and uh, the same way single female will make 11 percent less than single men so see here we are interpreting all of these coefficient values in relation to one of our omitted or base category which in this case is single man. So whenever you have a dummy variable make sure that you are interpreting it in terms of uh, your omitted or base category. There is no restrictions on the number of variables that you can include on the right hand side of our equation but make sure that whenever you include dummy variables you are omitting one category so that you can use that category and compare your coefficient values in relation to that omitted category. One thing more, you may be interested in knowing the wage difference between married female and married men. And all these coefficients are telling you is the wage difference between married men and single men. So to compare these two coefficients, remember you cannot compare these coefficients straightforwardly as I described you in a couple of previous videos about this topic. What you can do is you can omit any of these two categories and then rerun the regression and then compare uh, the coefficient values as compared with uh, one of these base category. So that's how you interpret these dummy variables in the model. All right, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.